everyone welcome to today's vlog we are home i actually am not starting this until like one o'clock so it's gonna be a later vlog and maybe i'll show like the night routine or whatever of what's going on today lily's right in front of me being weird <laughs> So I'm gonna try and not be weird on camera, but I had to take Alfie to the pediatric dentist this morning. Um, we're pretty sure that the gas issue is from his tongue tie, um, because he's having nothing but gas issues and he's doing like, like a clicking sound when he's um, feeding and um, he had like a really bad latch. Uh, yeah so we took him this morning and they said that he does have one um but they want to like talk to his pediatrician as well to make sure that it's not like because he's gaining weight he's eating um so they're saying that because he's gaining weight and eating enough to gain weight that it's not like 100 percent necessary unless it's causing other issues so they want to make sure that the gas issue is actually from him like um his tongue tie instead of like maybe some like like stomach issues or like acid reflux or like something in my diet that's causing him to have gas so he has an, an appointment next week and we're gonna go there and then um i have to wait for like my insurance to approve his um his tongue tie surgery so we're hoping that like we can get this resolved in the next couple of weeks because oh my god he's just up all the time screaming um he fell asleep in the car so i'm allowing him to just like kind of sleep right now um and i have the sound machine going because i kind of just we we need a, a minute last night he went to bed and then i went to bed at like 9 30 10 and then he got up by like 10 30 then he did, he went back down around 11 and then he was up again at 12 and he didn't go back down until like 3 30 in the morning and then he woke up at like five so i got like no sleep last night i am exhausted um i even had to the point where i had to like put him down for a minute and kind of just like walk off because he was just screaming his head off um that we're trying to do like the bicycles and like putting some pressure on his stomach to get like the gas out um putting heat on his stomach um making sure like the milk is warm because i am doing pretty much everything that i was doing to like help with my own gas after the c-section because that was like it's terrible if you've ever dealt with like built-up gas it is absolutely terrible and because he's so young they don't have a lot of things for him we were giving him like grape water but like it's not really doing anything for the gas it's just like helping with the symptoms but it's like barely and he's not allowed to go over like seven times of using it so there's really no point in using it at all because it's not helping it's not doing anything for it it's just minimizing the symptoms for like five seconds and that's it um so yeah that's the little update with that um he's not getting uh any better it's we're we're all exhausted and i'm hoping it's not like anything major and it's just the the tongue tie and we could just correct it very quickly um so that's that update i got chick-fil-a because mommy is tired and i was like anthony i need a pick-me-up and that's my pick-me-up anthony's home early today so he took a shower and he's like hanging out with ollie um i'm also going to state this because this is like very i like to be very realistic um i kind of just feel like i'm i've said this already like pretty much neglecting ollie i have such a hard time um like trying to put him down i uh, will sit in the chair for like over an hour and a half rocking him trying to get him to sleep and i'm not pumping when i'm supposed to be pumping i'm not like getting up to like feed ollie um he's complaining he's hungry and i just like i'm trying to get the baby down and it's just a lot going on and i just feel bad i feel like we're not giving ollie the attention or even just like the basic needs at this point so let me know in the comment section how you felt with dealt with like the age gap because lily was nine when ollie was born and she was self-efficient no, yes you were i couldn't even go outside on myself i mean you could wipe your own ass <laughs> i just started showering by myself <laughs> no, I, 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 yeah no you were like seven 
Um, Lily has been a huge help since coming back from her dad's house. Um, she's just like obsessed with this baby. All she wants to do is hold him and love on him. And yeah, she's been like, this morning, I had such a hard time this morning getting him to go back to sleep. And Lily came down, fed him while I was pumping, and then got him back in the car. Yeah, he went to sleep in her arms. I feel like sometimes the babies can just, they just know that you're stressing out and they're gonna give you a harder time. So Lily's like, I got this. Big sister mode. Um, and then, okay, just hold on a second. And then Lily and Ollie love to like fight over Alfie, so that's just like turning into a whole thing that um, Ollie wants to hold Alfie, but he can't because he's too small, and then Lily's holding him, and then they're fighting over him, and and Ollie doesn't like the fact that Lily keeps calling him Young Bull. It's just like a whole thing. I don't know what the hell is going on in this house because I'm so sleep deprived that they're just like bickering over nothing. It's just wild. Um, so I need to pump right now. That's basically what I'm gonna do. And then I don't, I made chicken parm for dinner last night and we're just having leftovers. I think Lily's friend's coming over for a sleepover. The kids start school in like about a week and a half. So we're like just pushing through to like school time. Um, and I'm hoping that once Ollie gets in school, we can get Alfie on a good routine. I do have like the Wonder Weeks app and he should be going through like a leave for the next couple of days. So I'm just waiting for that to happen and then like all chaos happens. Say hi. You want some soda? Say hi. Hi. Daddy's here to watch my game. Daddy's helping you with your, your game? Yeah, because I can't be the really pet to be all the different kinds of books. Did you have um, fun with Lily in the backyard? Did you? No. Lily's like, I was like, oh my God, please go sit down. He's just humming, singing to me, and I'm like freaking out because the keys won't work. <laughs> so. We just gave this one a bath with his brother, and now we're just doing some tummy time on the couch real quick. See if that will help with the stomach. Look at him go! Lift your head! You could do it! Over here! Look! Go out to go. Oh, he's... Is he gonna roll on camera? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, he rolled. <laughs> Does it count that it was on the couch? I don't know. You did it! You rolled over! <laughs> That's crazy! I just can't believe we got him rolling over on camera. That's probably like a fluke. Um, I'm sure that's not like him actually trying to do that. Um, we're gonna try to use a different bottle to see if um, maybe it's the bottles we're using. We're using the Komotomo bottles and I hear great things about them but you never know if that's the problem. I got a bunch of these little bottles from um, like my registry boxes. Um, so I'm just gonna try out the Dr. Brands one and see if this works. And never know, and maybe he's just getting a lot of like air coming in through that. Um, so he's being rocked to sleep by Anthony. Um, I just heated this up thinking he was hungry still, so this might be wasted, but at least um, we have these bottles available just in case. Anthony was trying to rock him for over an hour and he just would not settle, so I found the sound machine and he's perfectly fine now. Away. We've had such a hard time with him sleeping throughout the day and night that he just like passes out from exhaustion. Um, so I'm really glad that we figured out that he likes the sound machine because I'll take the hatch sound machine out of Ollie's room and put it in my room and just have that going during the night um, and that will be a little bit better for night times. It's later now. It's like um, almost 7 o'clock. Anthony went upstairs because he's exhausted. It's like his first full week of back to like actually working. Last week he was doing training. Um, so he's doing like more hard labor this week and he's just tired. So he ended up going upstairs and I think I mentioned this earlier, but Alfie was up from like 12 o'clock until like 3.30 in the morning. He was up all night. Um, so Anthony kind of got up around 2.30 to get 
like get started for work and he was helping me with the baby this morning so we're just tired um but anthony went upstairs and i have Allie out down here with me still we're gonna watch a movie and just kind of relax and my night times our night times kind of like stay the same anthony takes ollie up around 7 30 with him and he just gets him ready for bed and you know does his nighttime routine um anthony gets a shower every time he comes home so ollie normally like showers with him um after he's done showering so like ollie will just do his shower routine after anthony's done so we're not doing it like at the end of the night so ollie will be in his jammies like pretty much after um anthony gets home just to make it simple so we're not having like a bunch of stuff going on at the end of the night um alfie on the other hand doesn't get a bath every night um because his skin is like super sensitive it keeps breaking out um and it's like still peeling from giving birth it's been like a month and he's still peeling we don't i wipe him down regularly um we just don't like to soak him in the water i did find that tonight he did like soaking in the water i feel like because of like the nice um warm water helps uh with like build up gas if you don't know this like putting a heating pad on your belly is really good for help like bent up gas and like drinking hot um tea is good for pent up gas so uh i figured that would help with like his stomach we're really trying anything at this point but he normally doesn't get a bath but we might be doing that just like soaking him in the water um if you know it doesn't if he doesn't feel better um but yeah this isn't like a normal night for us because anthony would take ollie upstairs but i have him with me he's gonna be going up when um i go up which i'm not staying up super late i'm gonna pump at like eight ish maybe 8 30 and then go up by nine um i might take up ollie if alfie ends up waking up i might take up ollie to go like lay down with anthony in the bedroom um and then anthony could transfer him into bed later on and then mine one night pretty much looks like me taking care of alfie by myself um and then pumping like as late as i can get um it's normally around like uh nine to ten o'clock ish is when i'm like doing my last pump of the night yeah it looks like an egg it looks like a mini egg yeah and then i'm uh going up for the night and then I, we try to like not come back down here but yesterday we were down here a lot um so every night doesn't look the same if you like to see a night routine let me know and i'm pretty much like doing it solo it's he's waking up to go to work and he just happens to be up when i'm up um it's not like i'm waking him up to do like anything for the nighttime routine it's it's basically me and i get him like for the morning routine as well so like anthony does a lot of stuff when he gets home from work um like if i just can't get him to settle anthony will take over or if i'm just getting frustrated he'll take over but i'm like the primary caretaker at this point i am like home more than he is but um he has like a very labor intensive job so i just want him to rest and be okay um and especially because he drives all day nobody needs to have him like behind a wheel sleep prep um and i can i know you could tell like by my eyes that i'm like disgustingly tired um so i don't know how much more i'm gonna be filming tonight i'm probably like you know ending the video with us going up um but I feel like he's uh, a little bit better right now. And Anthony also suggested that he might like have just colic. Um, I'm hoping that's not the case because I don't think I can handle a screaming baby nonstop uh, for like months on the end. Like I just can't do that. Um, uh, we also stopped leaving like my milk out. Uh, we were at one like doing the all right it's good for like four hours to sit out at this point we're just like heating it up so it's nice and warm for him um so if you have any other suggestions for like helping with gas for babies let me know uh we're looking at different bottles we're doing heat um we're massaging his stomach we're doing leg kicks and like putting a little bit of pressure on his belly so like um pull it pushing his feet up so he can fart um what? holding him upwards afterwards burping him after every feeding and in between um 
so yeah if you guys have any suggestions let me know in the comments this is just rough um i'm really tired <laughs> Okay, so it's the next morning. I'm actually pumping and I have Alfie down on his play mat right now. Um, I'm just trying to get at least a 10 minute pump in before um, I have to like put him back down to sleep. Um, he actually did really well last night. Surprisingly, my hair is crazy. Um, he went to bed at like 8.30 after I was done pumping. Um, and he was up like every two hours kind of but at least it was better than every hour he woke up around 10 30 and then he went back down at 11. um then he woke up at like 2 30 or 3 when anthony was up and he didn't go back down until 4 and then he slept until 7 30 and it's around nine o'clock now i'm trying to pump he ate his breakfast and then i was just like carrying him around to get like stuff done i put him in his sit like his chair um his like rocker and um he was fine in there because it like sits him up um so i could get ollie some breakfast so it was a pretty good morning um for now <laughs> uh so yeah i'm just quickly trying to pump as much as i can and then uh probably try to get him down for a nap i did put him down for a nap and then i went upstairs to change my pants because I accidentally spilled coffee like all over myself um so I put him down and he was asleep and then by the time I came down he was wide awake um so yeah I'm gonna uh just end the video here because I feel like I'm on a good note and I kind of have to edit this video and get it up by today um so as always thank you for watching and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe like and let me know in the comment section um, some good ideas about gas and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.